When we started making records, you know, our first record we paid $25,000 for, and uh, we borrowed the money and we made it on a bunch of uh, uh, eight-track ADATs, basically. And um, and then as time went on, we spent an enormous amount of money making records, you know. And uh, and now I think that uh, the way the world has has turned out. Uh, you can make records for $25,000 again. Uh, so those are the pluses. And, uh, and with that, with the social media, you know, it, it's a lot more difficult, I think, to be heard because so many people have access to uh, every kind of outlet possible that you, your chances of being found over the Internet are better than they've ever been. But being heard at all is incredibly difficult. Uh, and, and making music that people care about is really our goal. And, uh, and so no matter how big Facebook gets, if they don't care, if people don't care about the music you're making, they don't care about having you on their Facebook friendship page either. Uh, so we have to keep sticking to making music that we love and then perhaps the rest of the world or somebody out there will love it. Uh, and then in doing so, also keeping current on Twitter and Facebook and MySpace, because if you don't, you can also disappear. And uh, it's a lot more work these days, I think, as a guy who grew up not doing those things. You know, you could basically read some fan letters once in a while, but now it's, you know, you're in touch with these people. You recognize them. They know you and you know them. And so it's a lot more work, but it's a lot more fun.